What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we had made a fairly odd moon landing that kind of left us in a weird situation where we could probably leave, but it would be a little tricky. Um, well, okay, so not so much leave, but the tricky part would come in with uh, <laughs> the fact that I didn't want to fly like a hundred or almost 200 kilometers back to the um the outpost so i had in my uh little little pea brain to build a jump drive now i have actually created a mark three version of the shooting star that has a jump drive on it in creative so i have the design that i'm gonna do the problem that I've run into is that once again, guess what? I'll give you three guesses. What, um, <laughs> what, uh, is required for a jump drive? So, most of you already know this, but I just feel like it's dramatic effect. Gold! We need 700 gold to do this. We need 995 superconductors and 20, uh, gravity generators? That is. I'm not familiar with that block. I think that's what that is. Clear that. Um, where are you? Gravity component. Gravity component. Okay, not generator, whatever. Um, now, I've also run into a little bit of an interesting situation where we have, like, no room for anything. Um, I had to pull some stuff into my inventory because. Uh, the refinery was filling up here with the stuff, and the stone was getting ridiculous in terms of everything, every storage component I have is full of stone. Like, all of my cargo containers, even my connector for the airlock, is full. So, this is a rather interesting situation, because I'm basically trying to balance, um, the... <laughs> Hope, hoping that the volumes will, will balance out at some point, essentially. Um, it looks like the Exegorth is still trying to offload into the large container, uh, which I'll actually pull this back a little bit so it can do that. Um, so we're going to have to burn through like most of this. It's, it's going to be tricky. i got to do some tricky resource management things uh, to make it work, but... We've actually made quite a bit of progress, to be honest. I've been working a little bit off camera. Um, I've also had a weird thing with the Exegorth running the PAM script, where I have it turned off at the moment because I obviously don't need more stone right now. Um, but I've had a weird thing where I've got it set to fill up the hydrogen and all that, and it wouldn't actually start going again until like I got in the cockpit, which I don't know what that would have to do with anything. Um, I don't really think it's necessarily a PAM script thing, it's probably just something else, but I don't know. So I've actually set up a solar array here temporarily. I'm probably going to expand this at some point. Um, maybe maybe expand the, um, the blades of the solar panels out further. I wanted to do um, oxygen farms on this as well until I realized that the oxygen farms require... Uh, conveyor ports and although I've got a new hinge here, which I love these blocks I've got a hinge on a rotor um, The problem I ran into is the line that I ran was all just steel blocks. There was no um, There wasn't really any conveyors to connect to to bring it back to like an oxygen tank or something in here Which this is the hollowed out or hollow wing I think it's gonna go a little bit further over. I'm not sure. Actually, let me check on the Exegorth, see if it'll tell me um, how much farther it had to do. Continue. It's 70 per. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop it. Fly home. Um. Wait. Where? Oh, that was weird. It had to go back out before we go home? Odd. Come on. You can do it. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm gonna let it do its thing. So, yeah, it's got a little bit more to go. I think it's probably another row or two. But as you can see here, I'm kind of setting up a bit of a slot, like a mail slot kind of thing um, for the upper area. 
And I've also got a ring, or a very crude ring, uh, going around the crater here, that that's going to be the perimeter of our mining-ish. Um, I think it's going to be a mining platform, like have a, 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 a line go out to the center and then some kind of mining ship that will lower itself down and drill through the center and blah 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 blah. And then I've got a, uh, a doorway, or kind of like an airlock, but I don't know what else I'm going to put in here. I may put storage and other things, I'm not sure. Um, and then this leads up what I'm hoping to eventually make into some kind of elevator shaft uh, to the base. Now, as far as... Oop, did I miss blocks? No, I guess I haven't gone up that far. Wait, where am I? Oh, this was a line that I did uh, for a vent. I was going to run a conveyor line underneath the floor. Um, so I'm probably going to put storage crates, tanks, refineries, that kind of thing in this area. Um, and maybe close them off. Um, I think I want this to be glass for a observatory type area or an observation deck. Anyway, something like that. But since we have so much uh, stone to work with, I think at the moment we're going to stop excavating and start building a bit more and start welding up some of the stuff so that we can actually burn up some of the resources that we're gathering and go from there. So we've got a lot of progress already since the last episode, but hopefully we can do a little bit more. Okay, so I've been doing a little bit more work. Also, I kind of realized I'm not sure if I actually explained this before. Um, but I also made this kind of temporary pillar thing. I don't think I actually pointed this out before. Um, where I actually mounted it to the ground finally and I repurposed it instead of a landing gear. We finally got a connector holding it and it goes to a large crate and then we've got a sorter so that the PAM script works on the, um, yeah, the thing, the Exegorth. So I've been working a little bit, obviously, as you can tell here. I'm playing around with these new textures, which I think are really cool. There's a lot of neat things in the Sparks of the Future DLC stuff um, that I'm excited about. Some of it, you know, kind of like, okay, that's kind of different, but there's a few things that I'm really excited about. Like, I like these textures. I'm not sure how I feel about it on this particular pattern, but I thought it was kind of an interesting, like, walkway looking thing. Um, but since we had the vent hooked up, the next best thing was obviously we need air and other stuff. So I started setting this up. I've got two refineries for future use, and I've got them set up with yield modules. However, I forgot once again, they need superconductors. So the yield modules probably won't be active for a minute, but uh, I figured I'd go ahead and put them there anyway so that when I started, you know, building around it or something, they'd already be there. Um, and then I added two large hydrogen tanks and, what is this, eight oxygen tanks? Um, and then I started going about uh, welding up these conveyors, but I guess I ran out of materials, so there's that. Um, but yeah, so we've got a little bit of that going on. We've got some storage, and then I've run conveyor lines under the floor to this conveyor port, um, or this conveyor junction, rather, so that it will go down to that vent, and we can keep connecting things up to it as we go. Um, the next thing I'm kind of thinking about is storage. I'm thinking the Exegorth is still trying to dig this part out. I think it's not going to go too much further. Further. I almost feel like this is the last line, if not maybe one more row. Uh, but I don't think we're going to go too much further than that. Um, so at the moment, what I'm thinking is maybe... I'm also trying to plan like for a path. So I kind of want uh, this path that leads to the elevator to be the main through point, I think. I was going to do it right here, but then this is off a little bit. So I think what we're going to do bring that over and then this will be the main central point it also lines up with the door down there so my thought process here is I left space for walls uh, to go around here and then I'll probably have like doors like maybe a, a door here for example actually I could just put a door down as a placeholder if I can figure out where I put doors on my hot bar all right there we are so I kind of like these on the inside these frostbite uh, offset doors. So I'm gonna put one there and let's put one here. And this will kind of lead 
into the production area, but I'm kind of feeling like this will end up being the storage. So for now, just for kind of some placeholder type things, what do we have here? We have two blocks on this side and one block there for the wall. So let's leave a space. Well, what is this? This is a little bit bigger than the, the refineries, but that's fine. Um, so that should line up there. And then let's put another one here. Can I fit one more? No. All right. So for now, two crates. And then maybe if this keeps going from the Exegorth, we'll do another one um, like here, maybe. And then what I'm thinking is, say we do one here, that's two more blocks plus, I'm trying to leave a block on the side, like um, like this for walls and stuff all the way around. So let's just, um, let's just real quick. I love having the quieter sounds. It's so much fun now. Um, <laughs> so let's see, we've got, like that. So we'd have one, two, and then a space, and then a wall. So let's go ahead. I think the Exegorth's gonna dig this out eventually anyway. So let's say that's our limit. So we've got... This stops here. So we got one, two, three, four, five... Space, and then wall. So we got five blocks that we can work with. So what I'm thinking is assemblers is going to be the next thing in this production area. Now, I've already got this wired up. So I think we got one here. And I don't know about how to set up the, I guess power efficiency on assemblers would probably be ideal, maybe. Um, I do kind of want to leave some space for the modules. However, I don't really want to have to mess with um, conveyor ports. So what I'm thinking is if we connect this right up to that and then do, I don't know if we'll need this many assemblers. I'm just kind of building for the heck of it. Um, so let's see, there's that. That would be the last one right there. So one more, maybe four assemblers. I don't know. You guys tell me if that's too much or not. Um, I've never really seemed to need more than one, but maybe, who knows? I've never really seemed to need more than one refinery, but a lot of people have talked about doing a bunch of them, so we're gonna try it. Um, modules are here, so we've got yield, um, speed, and power efficiency. Now the power efficiency I like the idea of, but I think, honestly, we'll go with speed, is I think what we're gonna do. And so for that, we can just kind of spam those. Let's get this wall out of the way. Now, um, again, we're back here so that we can kind of line this up. And again, I think, oh, the speed ones don't actually require superconductors. Well, that's convenient. All right, well, that's cool. So if we get this out of the way, get a little bit under here without hopefully damaging the stuff. Then I'm just going to go ahead and kind of place some of this flooring underneath here so that that's kind of squared away. <laughs> squared away. Get it? See what I did there? <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> so yeah, I think that will work. Again, maybe a little bit overkill. I'm not really sure. But then again, I'm also talking about um, having this kind of crazy mining ring out here. Uh, so I kind of feel like it's also semi-necessary that we have like a, a decent storage and production setup. Um, and I may, depending on what size of the space that the uh, Exegorth is going to dig out, because I honestly don't remember um, what I set it for, what I think we're going to do... Oh, actually, I don't know if I want to do too much of that. That may actually be where it hasn't finished yet. I don't know. We're going to leave it because at the moment all I've done is steel, which that's easily recover recoverable. 
So if I lose some steel, not a big deal. Ah, I didn't even mean to rhyme there. Uh, but I guess, what do we got here? One, two, eh, it'd be a little wonky, but I guess we could do like another crate in the center and then pipe it around and then connect it back up if we wanted to. Um, and then I guess, I guess we would need to run this. I'm thinking that's kind of going to be where it's going to go. I don't think... I don't see a reason why that won't work. Um, so we need to go out, what is this, one, two, three, four, and then over. So there's that. But yeah, this has kind of just been what I've been doing. Two, three, four. Meant to do that. Meant to do that. Um, I just needed to check my place, so, yep, totally, totally intentional. <clears throat> um, I don't think this is right, I think it needs to be over. The one thing I don't like about scaffolding is it is hard to make sense of what everything is, because it's just scaffolding, you're kind of like, um, okay, so then we'll place one conveyor here. Isn't that so cool? It's so quiet. It's very nice. Um, yeah, and then we'll just... I'll do this part semi-off-camera, but essentially just run the... Is it going to be that one? I think it's going to be that one. Just run a line, basically, back to here, and then that'll connect up the storage part. Now for here, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do um, completely. I could do screens maybe, like transparent screens, and we could have a readout. Actually, that sounds like a good idea. We're going to do that. If I can remember where my transparent screens are. Or we're just going to find, find them. There we go. Done. Um, is it this way? I can never remember. Oh, that's great. Didn't help at all. Um, I can't even remember Energy which way is up. Low. Oh, shut it. So we're just going to do some screens there. And then maybe from here, uh, window? Or is it glass? I think it's window. Yeah. Uh, from here, I need... Do I want to do the... Let's grab that. Yeah, that should be fine. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the two by ones, but I think this will be easier. Oh, I need girders. Poo. All right. So yeah. Anyway, um, I'll have to get the girders, but I, I'm gonna run uh, a row that way, and then maybe the angle blocks from there to there, and then go from do something to that effect. I think. Alrighty, so one other thing that I forgot to mention was this area here, which if you can kind of see, I've I've sort of explored some of the moon a little bit more. Um, like, there's the uh, mix deposit that I found there, there's a platinum and nickel over there, so I kind of was hopping around the moon a little bit, that's our moon base over there, and I found this thing, which was a beacon, and it was attached to one of these guys. Now I'm also seeing there's a, I, can't, I wish I could zoom in, but there's another one from a different faction over there. Um, but one thing that's cool is I perused around in here a wee bit, um, and found that they have an ATM, or not an ATM, a well, they, I hope they have an ATM, but they have a store, a vending machine. Now one of the interesting parts about this is that they sell, or they did sell, anyway, I hope they still sell, um, superconductors. Eventually. Maybe. Unless this changes every time you load the game. Then we're in trouble, because they had superconductors before. And I was hoping maybe I could just buy some, rather than having to deal with uh, the rest of it. Or, I mean, like, actually finding gold. But for some reason... 
I'm not seeing superconductors now. Which kind of concerns me. I might have to check that other one, because they don't seem to have them anymore. By the way, these zone ships are a ton. I mean, safe zones are cool and all, but good grief. Um, now, how do I... I've done this before because I have a balance, I think. Cashback deposit. Can I do that here? Will it not let me do that? Wait, what just happened? Okay, so now I have... Oh, I see. I've got to put in the, the number. All right, so 3764 deposit. And one? There we go. Okay, so that I wanted to do that too because I remembered a couple of them being a different cost. Um, but it's a little concerning to me that they don't have... Um, they don't have the super good. I swear they did. So we're going to check this one and hope that... Uh, actually, while I'm coasting... Make sure they're friendly. I think they are. So I think we're neutral. All right. I'm 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 also curious about... I know I'm on a single player uh, setting, but I kind of almost want to start my own um, faction, but I don't know if that would make them hostile or whatnot. So I'm going to coast my way over here, and we're going to check them for uh, some... See if they sell superconductors, because at the moment, with my gold deficit, it's probably just easier to buy what I need. I think I need about 100-ish... Alrighty, so I think we've actually got a little bit of a uh, situation where we might actually be in a good spot. So, what has gone on here is I've managed to find this other uh, place, and they have some superconductors. They have, I checked for, uh, like, gold and other things, but I can't find anything. I was like, well, maybe I can do it this way. Um... Now, I didn't actually think about maybe getting something like thruster components and then breaking them back down, but anyway. So, there's this. It's for 25,000, but I don't obviously have that much. I only have 13. So, um, let's go down, I guess. I don't know how many... Wow. All right, let's try 700. 600. <laughs> uh, 500. All right, so 550, 30 works? Wait, that's, that's a million. That's 25,000 a piece. Okay, well, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> I didn't realize that. It's 25,000 a piece. All right, well, that's going to be a problem. I was going to buy some before I left. Oh, well, I really thought, yeah, I didn't even see this per unit. Thing. A lot of you are probably going bananas on me already going, well, it's per unit. I didn't, I didn't even see that. Um, but that isn't total bad news, though, because I found contracts on this station um, and found two that are 250000 a piece, and all they are is, like, large steel tubes and power cells. Now, the thing for this, that I, the reason I did them is because I don't see a lot of these had a duration, like a time limit. And I didn't really want to do that. Ooh, construction components. That would work too. 300,000. That's not many. That's not that bad. Um, so I'm firing... I'm, I'm finding these acquisition ones are going to be probably my bread and butter. Of Yeah, I need gold for that, so I don't want to do that. Even though, yeah. A little bit of amount. A little bit of a good amount. The other thing is these search ones seems to seem to have... Um, Oh, that's fail reputation penalty. I thought it was a, pu uh, a plus and a minus, but apparently that's only if you fail. But see, you have like 20 minutes, and it's only 40,000. But I'm like, this is... Um, this one's 300,000, and it's just like 600 construction components. I got plenty of stone, so we're going to accept that too. It does say accepting the contracts, you have to fill it in a timely manner. Failing to do so is negative, but... There's no negative stars on these, and there's no time limit on them either, so I don't... I'm inclined to think that they don't have anything to do with that, so this is kind of cool. Um, now, I have a contracts thing on my ship that I often don't even remember that I have, if I'm being honest. Um, so...
So I'm actually kind of curious if I could... Where are we going? This way? All right. Um, I'm kind of curious if I could do these and then turn them in through my contract station or something. That would be kind of interesting. So we're going to head back to the ship and see what materials we have and see if we can work with that. Okay, so we are back at the, uh, at the base ship thing. Um, and I've booted up my contracts board and we've got this. Now, one thing that's interesting for this is it says um, large steel tubes amount and so on and so forth, but what's curious, I can't finish it, the contract must be finished at the station, I get that part. The only weird part is, I guess I've got to take a ship and then dock it to the station, because I can't carry this much, like, uh, like 120, I can't carry that on my person, so I guess the only thing I can think of is I'm going to have to load up the Exgorth, basically. That's, that's all I can think of, and hope that it can handle, um, Oh, I've got the sorter on it. Boo. Alright, well, then we're gonna have to do this from the outside, I guess. And I've currently got, um... I've currently got it working to build the rest of it, because like I said, it, I actually don't think it's that much to get it to, to build. Um, is this the large cargo? Alright, cool. So we'll put that in there. Um, I don't also like that even if I pull up the contracts here, I can't, like, see the contracts anywhere. Like, I have to go in and look at the thing, which is kind of annoying. Unless there's a, there's a script for it, maybe? No, mending, vending machine, GUI. I don't see a contracts one. Not that it would really help me in here, because I still can't see it, which is kind of annoying for checking numbers and everything, but I'm pretty sure it was 126 tubes. Um, nope. Tube. Uh, so, yeah. But, wait, why can't I grab that? Oh, that's the Exegorth. <laughs> Duh. Alright, let's see if that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Alright. Um, now, let's check on... I was making power cells... Okay, so we got that. Let's grab that. I think it was 120, so... That doesn't seem right. 87, 13, that seems like it's gonna be like 100. I told it to make 100. Okay, so we're just loading the ship up here. Uh, power... Oh, there's... No, <laughs> I keep seeing this, and I think that's the... The rest of it. That doesn't seem right, though. I mean, three's gonna make that 90, and then one's just 100. I told it to make 100, and I already had... Oh, it's in the cryo chamber. Why don't I have access to... Oh, the cryo chamber... Why don't I have access to the cryo chamber? Now that I'm thinking about it, that doesn't actually make sense. I, want... I must have put that in there... I... I guess this isn't connected to the... No, it has to be connected to the conveyor system. How the... That's confusing. I don't understand that at all. Uh, while I'm right here, though, let's see if we can grab... Uh, let me double check this. What did I need? 126. We have that covered. 120. We should have that covered. 686. I think it's making them. Yeah, so that's gonna be a minute. But I can still take a bunch of them with me. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna cut, and then lastly, we're gonna wrap up of taking this, uh, shipment over, and hopefully we make it, because, yeah, the whole hydrogen thing is gonna be fun. I don't know if I can actually make that part. Though, if we can break the atmosphere, I could coast into, um, I could take it into the ion thrusters only, which might actually work, so we're gonna try that. Alrighty, so we actually made it back to the base. Um, so I think I've got it connected. So I've never, never actually done this before, so we're gonna try and see if we can make it work. 
Hopefully. If we're lucky. So, we'll go here. Accepted. Okay, so we can finish. Select a vehicle or character whose inventory contains items for this contract. Items will be removed from inventories of the selected one. You may select only yourself or vehicles you own. Okay, so we'll select the Exegorth. Thanks for the job. Here's your reward. 250,000 credits. Awesome. Let's do another one. 130. And... Wait, contract cannot be finished. Select a ship. Wait, what? Did I select my inventory? I must have. Wait, what? 686. I know I put that many in there. What is the deal? I know I did. I know I did. <laughs> what? Where are they? Where'd they all go? <laughs> okay, that's messed up. I know I put them all in there. You uh, are you kidding me. Alright, well. I suppose I can always bring the... Um, I suppose I can always bring them back, because that I can actually carry on my person. We have 400,000. I'm happy about that. Um, so, what does that get us in superconductors? We need 23 million for less than what we actually need. That's nuts. Alright, let's try... Oop, not 5,000. Um, 50? A million is 50. Really? Well, I thought this was going to be a good method for getting superconductors. Turns out I could be very wrong. <laughs> I mean, this isn't bad, because I think I have 16 thruster components that I could sell or get rid of. 8 million, 23 gravity components. Man, they're just so expensive. Expensive. Why can't I find gold? Why? Why can't I find gold? <sighs> anyway, well, it's a start, I guess. We're kind of making headway. <laughs> We're up to 400,000. We almost can buy a couple. Oh man, that was very underwhelming. Anyway, I think we're going to wrap things up here for this episode. Let me know what you guys think as to whether or not we should keep trying to pursue this or if I should just keep flying all over the moon, literally, trying to find um, superconductors. Um, now this is funny. This is funny. 484 thruster components and there's a contract for <laughs> for 16 of them. That makes zero t little to zero sense. I'm actually wondering, 42,000 a piece, what would 16 be? I mean, 400,000 would be 10, right? Give or take. So you'd still turn a pretty decent profit. It's not great, but I mean, it's 700. Uh, it's like, mm, I don't know. It's, it's, eh. You probably wouldn't. You'd probably be something like four to five hundred grand, give or take. What are the superconductors out of the vending machine? They're only they're twenty-five. Oy ave. So expensive. Alright, anyway, we're gonna wrap things up here for today. Let me know what you guys think as to whether or not I should just keep exploring or if we should try and actually do more contracts like that. Because that was kind of fun, actually. I hadn't really done that before, so that was, that was kind of different. But with that, we're going to wrap things up here. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.